Welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your mid-April to mid-May tarot reading. Please bear in mind this is a general tarot reading. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. And if this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your moon, venus and rising signs in some of my other readings. Currently I have a sale going on. So if you would like a private reading from me, you can now get one for £20. So, to access the private readings, you can find the link in the description box directly below this video. Just click on the link and you'll be directed straight to the form. And at the top, you will see a sale for the £20 reading if you're interested in it. Alternatively, I have other readings on offer as well. So let's begin. So at the back of the deck, you have the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So someone is definitely, I feel, coming back around or someone wants to offer you an apology of some sort. Someone has a lot of passion. Someone wants a new start. It could be your ex coming back in. But we'll draw some more cards and find out. I'm going to leave that there because that was at the back of the deck. And I feel that's the energy. A lot of you may have someone returning, someone wanting to apologise. For some of you, it could be a chance of a new start. So the first card you have out is the Ace of Pentacles. It is um, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. So, yeah, definitely new start here on the cards for a lot of you then we've got the hanged man and that's in reverse that's neptune energy that's the major arcana card then we've got the eight of pentacles capricorn taurus and virgo Then the Ten of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Another major arcana card, the Devil, that's Capricorn energy, could be dealing with Capricorn. Then we have the Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Three of Wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the Nine of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and that's also in reverse. And another major arcana card, the Judgment card. And that's Saturn energy. So I'm going to see what all of this is about for you. So like I said, uh, the energy uh, that you have, you have the Ace of Wands at the back of your deck. So there's an apology coming in for a lot of you. There could be a return of your ex or just someone simply coming in to apologise for something they did uh, to you that, Maybe they've had a chance to think about it or something that they regret. But whatever, this person wants a new start with you. I think um, it's taken a while for them to realise where their future is. But I think they see a future with you and they're definitely coming in for a new start here. But with the Hanged Man in reverse, I see you feeling... A bit cautious about this um 
at the moment things are suspended for you up in the air you're you're not really sure about this um i think you you feel very indecisive i think um You know, you're feeling whether it will be for you, you know, in your best interests at the end of the day because you have perhaps trusted this person a lot in the past and they've let you down. Um, you could be avoiding this person, you know, delaying making your decision. You're feeling like in the past with this person you feel like you've already many times over put a lot of effort and energy into this person into this relationship with this person and it they just wore you down and and you're kind of feeling that way again this person has that ability to make you feel that way um and maybe it suggests that you stop sacrificing your time and values to please other people and stop putting off decisions you're perhaps also being a bit too kind and generous towards this person in the way you respond to avoid any con confrontation um which may come back to haunt you because it may just give this person permission to do the same things they were doing to you before all over again um but i do feel that you feel very stuck not knowing really what to do um i kind of feel that this person although they they feel that they what they're saying is true maybe you know they they believe what they're saying to you is true but i don't feel that there's the hundred percent conviction in this person i feel that this person is a bit unstable and likely to fall back into their old, old ways of letting you down um and i feel that's deep down that you perhaps know that and that's why you why you're perhaps indecisive um not sure what to do in this situation a lot of work you know you've put into this in the past into this person a lot of time and energy and effort and nothing came of it it was all thrown back in your face and they're promising you that they're going to get, put the time and effort and work into this but i don't think you're convinced um i've got a feeling that some of you have already given this person a chance and they've already let you down um or started acting out in the way that they used to i i've just got a feeling there's already been signs or red flags with this person um despite their promises and you're still really feeling the effects you know still trying to get over the effects of of your last um should we say um experience with this person um you know they really stabbed you in the back really broke your heart here and you you know for for quite a while you know it's taken you time to get over this to try and heal from what this person did to you because i feel that your feelings were very strong for this person i still feel that the, the feelings are there for this person that you still have strong feelings but maybe you're not deluding yourself as much about this person your expectations of this person um have completely gone you know you don't have the expectation you you kind of um i think you know what to expect from this person basically um but you you know you've got a little dream you're still a little a dreamer on the quiet you know i suppose you want that fairy tale ending or hoping and praying that this person means what they say this time I am going to clarify some of these cards for you but yeah let's let's go on to this card before we do some clarifying but yeah with the devil coming out here yeah i feel that there's a lot of toxicity um around this person this person has been displaying a lot of toxic behaviors is is emotionally unstable unbalanced um completely 
completely does your head in, you know, um, makes you doubt yourself. Um, I kind of feel like they're very good at manipulating you. Um, and it's, it's really all about pleasing themselves. Um, I feel that they are very ignorant of your feelings. It's, they don't seem to acknowledge or, or realise the depth of, of the hurt that they've, that they've put upon you, that they, they've, how they've made you feel. They don't really seem to realise this. And, and maybe you're trying harder to resist this person, but you're finding it very hard to completely erase this person out of your life, to really let go completely and utterly because of the feelings you still have deep down and maybe that dream, that last little bit of hope that you're holding on to, that this person will come good. Yeah, and like I said with the Page of Cups, this person's definitely returning. They, they want a chance with you. Um, so yeah, this card yeah definitely means an ex wanting to return. They've got an apology. Um, don't feel this card represents a person coming towards you that's very stable and together. I still feel there's a lot of issues with this person. Uh, a lot of things they have not confronted, um, still ongoing, um, especially the emotional side. Very unstable, this person. And I feel for you, for some of you... Um, I mean, it could be also to do with COVID and the restrictions, but you don't feel like anything's really moving along in the way it should be, that things are not happening. It could be you thinking it's not going to happen. You know, um, maybe you just haven't had... I'm trying to think of the right words. Um, you, you haven't turned around and actually said to this person that you don't want to try again that it's over for good as far as you're concerned because you ain't got the heart to there's a part of you that's still holding on to this person but this person's lack of action um you know they they say a lot but they don't come through for you you know it, it's it's frustrating the hell out of you is it's it's heartbreaking you know as well you know it's just and and i and i feel that it's going to take a lot for this person to you really start putting you first there's definitely someone from the past with the six of cups here yeah, you're definitely dealing with someone from the past. Um, and from what I've seen so far, especially with this row, these memories are that you have of this person are not so good so far. Their track record is really, their track record is very unreliable. Um, and you can't really think of many too many times when they made you feel happy there's more times when they've broken your heart and made you feel sad than there is happy times with this person i think you're really thinking about the past here and i think for some of you it's it's a painful truth but yeah you're recovering you, you may be starting to get yourself together and this person comes along and it kind of sets you back a bit, but you are getting over the worst of it. And it's painful to face the truth about this person, about the reality of, of what to expect from this person. And that's very little. And um, you're finding it hard, I think, to to deal with that but you i think you do know the truth deep down you you know what the truth is regarding this person i think you know what this person's all about basically and i feel that some of you 
are going to you're going to be making a decision about what you're going to do with this person uh, for some of you it, it's taken quite a time for you to have the courage to i think rid yourself of this person once and for all i i feel it's going to be quite split with a lot of you Aquarians out there, some of you may have the strength to completely get this person out of your life. Some of you, I, I can see you going, you know, on the, in, in a sort of on the same vicious cycle with this person, you know, constantly going through this with this person um, for a while or at least some of you giving this a person a chance um let's clarify some of these cards for you using the gilded tarot so yep let's clarify so i'm going to start i think Maybe clarifying the ten of. Mm, no, I think the top row is quite. So I'm going to actually clarify the devil. I think um, find out what the toxicity is. Um, so clarifying the devil, we have a major arcana card, the lovers. Also, the seven of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Yeah. So now this person's been very dishonest with you this in the past this person's cheated on you put you in third party situations and other people on the go when seeing you this person's being deceptive behind your back and i'm sorry to say but for some of you that could still be the case here uh even though they're trying to convince you to take them back um yeah this person's broke your heart and lied and been quite deceptive and dishonest and add you in third party situations that clarifies the devil so yeah there's been a lot of toxicity attached to this person and um i think clarifying the the three of wands in reverse we've got the tower and the five of cups yeah you had dreams i think about this person but you know, for some of you, you don't, it's not going to happen because this person, you had a major, there was a major change in your relationship with this person. This person put you through a major town moment. Um, it broke your heart, you know, just completely left you out in the cold. You know, you, you're for a long time, you've been very sad and really in your emotions over this person, really trying to, you know keep it together to pull yourself out of this you know it was very devastating blow this this breakup and, and you're thinking about the past for some of you that's the reason why you don't feel this can happen again um and then i think clarifying the nine of swords we've got the ten of swords that's come up twice for you now yeah you're still trying to get over this feeling of being you know heartbroken being stabbed in the back by this person all the pain that they've caused you and yeah you're coming to the end of of this pain but i think it's this person returning is going to set you back a little bit but yeah you are fed up with this allowing this person to put you through this so we're going to clarify the judgment so clarifying the judgment we've got the two of cups And the will of fortune so for some of you i feel that's two major arcana cards. well no the two of cups is pisces cancer scorpio and the wheel of fortune is all the fixed signs so yeah i feel that with the two of cups coming out and the wheel of fortune some of you are definitely going to give this person another chance because you definitely still love this person um you're hoping that this person uh will come good you know you're you're, you're giving this person the benefit of the doubt and you're going to um take that gamble take that risk so some of you are definitely going to take this person back i'm going to pull out some more clarifiers so we've got the five of pentacles so i feel that this some of you won't actually 
and some of you will. Like I said, it's very divided between all of you. Uh, we've got the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I think another one. Mm. And the Star, Aquarius energy. Right. So, like I said, there is a, a big divide here. Some of you will give this person another chance. Some of you, no. Because this person, I think you're going to leave this person out into out in, in the cold. Um, and 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 reject them for some of you some of you aren't some of you will reject them some you know because you you're holding on to the past pain and hurt of what this person did to you you're, you're still trying to heal with the star here you're still trying to heal this person truly especially with having two lots of ten of swords this person truly broke your heart and you've got the nine of swords as well this person really broke your heart in more ways than one and you can't forgive you can't forgive them you're, you're really you're still trying to heal and recover from all of this so those some of you like i said will not be taking this person back and some of you will as like i said there's quite a divide here so i'm going to get you out some uh, love oracle cards and we've got the phoenix so a new phase rekindle renew transformation growth and change minds so some of you yeah there's a new phase uh someone wants to rekindle this relationship this like i said you've got an extra turn in they're more interested in you know having an, a new beginning with you rekindling that relationship I've got separation, sadness, missing you, thinking of you, about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Yeah, um, for a lot of you, you've been separated from this person for quite some time. This person's been very sad about not having you in their life. They've been really missing you and thinking about you a lot. And it, you might have been doing the same with them, you know, missing them. You know, you might may, maybe mirroring each other, I feel. But there is a separation that's currently going on with a lot of you, where this ex is concerned. But like I said, this ex is returning. And then we've got self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-wealth. Time to heal. Shadow work, self-appreciation. Yeah, those of you who got to start focusing on healing yourself, um, valuing you as a person, remembering your self-worth, having your self-respect, you know, um, realising that you are worth being tr treated far better than this, you know, um, focusing on you rather than this person. For those of you who perhaps don't want to take this person back. And I'll get you out a romance angel to see what they have to say as well. So we've got, for yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. I think some of you will be definitely doing that, definitely here. Freeing yourself of this person once and for all. Painful though, but you will. And they've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So some of you are definitely going to give this person another chance. So I feel these romance angels definitely to do with your decisions. Um, I think romantic feelings is about those people who want to give the, the ex another chance. And free yourself is for those of you who definitely want to be free of this person. So let's wrap this up with some Moonology cards for you. Okay, we're the jumper there. So we've got a personal issue reaches resolution. And the end, oh, I think actually I'm going to leave it there. A personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah, so I think, you know, for some of you, this is going to reach a resolution. It, whatever way it turns out for for you all. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's um, it's a full moon in Cancer, this card. So, yeah, there is going to be a lot of heated feelings, a lot of strong emotions around this time. Um, I think um, it's definitely... A challenge I think this whole cycle has been 
but it's all coming to an end for a lot of you um I think it's time to step up and agree to overcome any insecurities you might have also. And it says other additional means of this card is to suggest to meditate and soothe heightened emotions. Yeah, so it's time for really strong emotions, I think, with this card. Don't be cling clingy. Stop sulking. Um, have you had enough time to yourself lately? You know, have you given yourself that time that you need? Maybe it's time to start pouring that love back into yourself. So the heightened emotions of the moon in Cancer, that combination can't be ignored, I think. Um, I think it's just be careful that, you know, emotions are going to be running high. There's going to be uh, a lot of... Um, explosion of emotions um so i think it's important to be kind to yourself really especially in this those of you in this situation so be aware of your emotions and and be truthful with yourself you know look deep into your heart i think you know really what you should do some of you really especially those of you that are undecided that don't know whether to take them back or not but like I said, there's some of you that will take them back and some of you that won't. So Aquarius, that was your reading. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.